Hi guys, welcome to Let's Talk. It's been a little while since I've been here and I've tried, I've decided to uh, try another little series. Um, I've been having a lot of really bad anxiety and uh, I haven't been sleeping very well. And I finally got some sleep last night and I woke up this morning and I went to my bookshelf. I collect books. I love books and I collect way more books than I ever read. But anyway, I pulled this book off. It's called The Gra The Gaze of Love, Meditations on Art and Spiritual Transformation by Sister Wendy Beckett. Do -do -do. There you go. There it is. And, um, and I, I want to share a little something about, about, uh, from the book with you. And so Sister Wendy writes in the introduction of this book, books on prayer are dangerous. They take time to read and they demand attention. This is proof, is it not, says our subconscious, that we are serious spiritual people. Does not our very choice of reading matter? The interest we take in prayer differentiate us from the careless, the frivolous, the less committed? The answer is no. At some level that we do not recognize, we may well be reading books on prayer as a way to alley our guilt about not actually praying. The overweight, it is said, are devoted readers of diet books. The sedentary devour travel books. Reading about prayer, talking about prayer, even writing about prayer, these are not useless activities, but they are dangerous. The real difficulty about prayer is that it has no difficulty. Prayer is God taking possession of us. We expose to him what we are, and he gazes on us with the creative eye of holy love. His gaze is transforming. He does not leave us in our poverty, but draws us into being all we are meant to become. And I just, um, I just love that. And in this book, she, uh, she has a whole bunch of beautiful art that she uh, suggests to use as meditation. And, um, and there's 40, 40 of them and she uh, suggests that you use it for Lent. Um, Lent is past. Um, but I thought, you know what, why not start my day with a meditation or a prayer? And, um, and I picked this, well, this is the first one in her book. And she writes a little meditation there that sort of talks about it that, that can be read as a prayer by itself. Um, but the, her thought is using the, the picture, um, the image, to, to guide your prayer to be your prayer and just, just let it be. And um, again, this is a, a gorgeous picture. And you can see the, the people sitting in the boat. There's two of them. And that bright yellow flag and being on the sea. And um, this is called The Mystical Boat. And I believe it's done by Odilian Redden. I don't know if I've said that right. It's pastel and black chalk on buff colored wool paper. Um, and when while I was um, sitting and, and looking at this photo, and I took a picture of it on my phone so I could just have it with me all day. Um, it it made me really uh, it it reminds me that God takes us on wild adventures and sometimes they're bumpy we're in the sea we're on the ocean there's waves sometimes it's bumpy and and sometimes it really is like we're in the middle of the ocean um, and we can't seem to see land but he's leading us somewhere. And just like there being two people in the boat, we're, we're never alone. Um, with God, we're never alone. And I'm just, I'm thankful that God's on my journey of life, taking me on this journey of life, um, and is with me with where, wherever it goes. Um, I'm, I'm not alone. And, um, and I'm, I'm glad that he walks with me and, uh, and just like that, that bright yellow sail, um, 
he's he's my brightness in the storm and he's there and his hope and his love and his joy is just it's present in my life and i'm really thankful now if you don't believe in god that's also okay you can use this picture to meditate on your life and just see what what comes out what what can it, what in this photo can bring encouragement to your day and set your meditation as a meditation rather than a prayer um, but i just wanted to share that that's what i got out of this beautiful painting or pastel drawing and uh, share with you over the next several days maybe 40 um, my short little interpretations and prayers um, that come out of uh, meditating and praying with the images in this book. I hope you like this little video. And if you do, like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see how long I can kind of keep this little series up. Because I'd like to do this book and share it with you guys. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you have a great night. And also... This little meditation just set my whole day so much better. My whole day seemed to just be awesome and go great. And I really am thankful for that too. And so I am encouraged to try this as one of the many ways of dealing with my anxiety. I could also do a whole other little series about ways to deal with my anxiety and your anxiety. And I will do that. But I think for now I'm going to start with doing these little prayers or meditations and share my thoughts with you. So have a great day. and. See you next time.